Example 11, using local extrema to solve applications. An open top box is to be constructed by cutting out squares from the corner, from each corner of a 14 centimeter by 20 centimeter sheet of plastic, then folding up the sides. Find the size of the squares that should be cut out to maximize the volume enclosed by the box. So number one, we'll start this problem by drawing a picture like that in figure 22, labeling the width of the cutout squares with a variable w. So here we have one, another one, another one, and another one. So notice that after a square is cut from each end, it leaves a 14 minus 2w centimeters by 20 minus 2w because each area represents 2w. So if we cut that out, then what's left is we're taking 14. So if this represents 14, then we're subtracting 2w from it. And if this represents 20, then we're also subtracting 2w from it. And again, we're subtracting it from the rectangle for the base of the box, and the box will be uh, w centimeters tall. Now, if we wanted to find the volume of this, the volume is taking the length times the width times the height. Well, we have 20 minus W for our length. Our width of the box is 14 minus W, and the height's going to be W. So if we multiply this all out, then we're going to get 280W minus 68W squared plus 4W cubed. Now, number three, notice that since the factors are w, 20 minus 2w, and 14 minus 2w, that gives us three zeros at 10, 7, and 0, respectively. Because a height of 0 centimeters is not reasonable, then we're only going to consider the zeros for 10 and 7. The shortest side is 14, and we are cutting off two squares. So values w may take on are greater than 0 or less than 7. This means that we will restrict the domain of this function between 0 and 7. Now, by using a graphing tool to sketch the graph of that function, this reasonable domain, we get a graph like that in figure 23. So we can see here that we can use this graph to estimate the maximum value for the volume restricted to values for w that are reasonable for this problem, values 0 through 7. So here what we're going to do is we're going from 0 through 7 on our graph. So we want to know, okay, what is the maximum value here? What is that maximum value there? Okay, this is what we want to know. What is that maximum value? So from this graph, we turn our focus to the only the portion on the reasonable do domain between 0 and 7, and we can estimate the maximum value to be around 340 cubic centimeters, which occurs when the squares are about 2.75 centimeters on each side. So to improve this estimate, we could use advanced features of our technology, and if available, we can then zoom in to get a better perspective on that. So if we zoom in here, okay, from the zoom in, we can see here that at 2.7, so this is where our 2.7 is, which is in between 2.8, and then we take a look at the maximum here, it's around 339. So the maximum volume is about 339 cubic centimeters, and it measures at approximately 2.7 centimeters on each 
side.